This time last year, the Chicago Bulls had won 17 of their first 28 games and were at the top of the East's standings. Fans weren't sure if DeRozan, Levine, and Ball would work as a trio, but the players got along well from the start, and even Nikola Vucevic found his place on the team. But since Lonzo Ball got hurt in February with a small tear in his meniscus, the Bulls haven't been able to hold things together, and the front office is reportedly thinking about a complete rebuild. Fast Break's Brett Siegel says that a possible possible plan to blow it up is getting more attention in Chicago. A green up to Zach Levine, leading by nine after a 33-point first quarter. Green has a Many teams in the league are keeping an eye on the Chicago Bulls right now because they might be looking to sell before the trade deadline. League sources told Fast Break on Fan Nation that the Bulls are currently looking at all of their options. One source told Fast Break, this is the most competitive the East has been in a long time. To this stature of the league. But he bit on Kobe. Kobe. And Chicago just doesn't have enough to compete with some of the new teams rising up in the conference, let alone those at the top right now. I'll say this, those so-called rumors about the Bulls possibly destroying everything could be true. DeRozan, still working. Pump fake, flipped it up. There is movement in these talks, and the Bulls are actively evaluating themselves and all of their options to add and move talent before the deadline. This is especially bad for the Bulls because this group of players has only been together for a few years. If their players, especially Lonzo, had stayed healthy, we might be talking about this Bulls team in a much different way. In the end, though, nice play by Lonzo Ball. Oh, Bulls got numbers, run. Brown, Ball, back to Caruso, to the rim. It seems like they will make their final choice when they hear the next news about their starting point guard. The situation with Lonzo Ball is probably one of the biggest unknowns in the league right now. Ball isn't close to coming back after some setbacks, and the most recent report said that he might not come back at all this season. Since January of last year, Lonzo Ball has not been the point guard for the Bulls. It's been almost 11 months, and there's no guarantee that he will play at all this season. He is still having some pain in that knee, even though he's getting better. The hope is that by the All-Star break in the middle of February, they'll know if Lonzo Ball is ready to play for Chicago again. How the Bulls are doing in the standings could have a lot to do with that. Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan is one of the, the really the better coaches. Oh! Right now, they're 11th and aren't in the running for the playoffs. If they stick around that area, there will be a lot of talk about whether or not he plays at all. But really, this team started going downhill when that player got hurt last January. Lonzo won't be able to play again until all of the pain in his knee goes away. In the meantime, the Bulls will have to keep working harder to keep their season going, which won't be easy. The East is as strong as it has ever been, and the Bulls just don't have enough to win. At this point, it might be best to start over and go all in for Victor Wembenyama. We did see it in the 80s. We didn't see it often, but we did see it. But I'm not sure Yama Ralph was going to bucket. In the middle of what can only be called a bad season, all-star forward DeMar DeRozan is showing once again that age doesn't matter. In LA, but he really is blossoming. DeRozan! Oh, oh my goodness! Get up or get out the way! The 33-year-old averages 26 points, 5 rebounds, and 4.8 assists per game. He has a TS of 60.1% and a TOV of 8.6%, which is one of the best marks of any star in the league, especially one who is as good with the ball as he is. The Bulls seem to be stuck in injury hell, but DeRozan's consistency over the past two seasons has been a huge bright spot. Lonzo Ball, the point guard, hasn't played in almost a whole year, and Zach Zach Levine is still getting back into shape after knee surgery in the offseason. The Bulls seem determined to stick with their current experiment. They gave the Magic a lot of money for Nikola Vuve at the trade deadline in 2021. Vucevic working through the defense with the hole. That's what you got to see out of the big fella. There he is. There it is. Free cheese. But their 11 and 15 record puts them outside of the play in picture right now. What they have left to do in December could tell a lot about their future. They play the New York Knicks three times this month. They also play the Rockets, the Pistons, the Wolves, and the Heat, all of which have records below 500. If the Bulls don't make the playoffs by the time the year 2023 rolls around, they might want to take a better look at their situation and quietly look for offers for DeRozan. At at age 33, he won't get as much as what the Jazz got for Rudy Gobert. Towns. 
Pass inside, Gobert can't finish, stays with it and puts it through. But he's still good enough to get at least one fully unprotected pick in return. It's also not out of the question that DeRozan could end up getting more than most people think he will near the trade deadline, when a few good teams will all be fighting for the best players on the market so that they can make a run at the championship. Many people have said that DeRozan would go to the Lakers. If Anthony Davis stays healthy and keeps playing like an MVP, the Lakers could be motivated enough by the thought of another title. To give up both the 2027 and 2029 unprotected first round picks. This isn't a completely impossible scenario. In theory, if the Lakers wanted to, they could pull off a DeRozan trade without giving up Russell Westbrook. Patrick Beverly, Lonnie Walker, and Kendrick Nunn would instead go to Chicago. And the Lakers take it with DJ playing some defense underneath. Malik on the run. Westbrook all the way, scores it with a which would send Tony Bradley and Marco Simonovic with them. In order for that to happen, the the Bulls will have to give up two things. One was what they wanted to do this season, and the other was that what they were doing wasn't working. Overall, that may be a letdown, but at least it was a good try. Also, they gave up a lot of draft picks to get Vuve, so being able to fill the empty draft pick cabinet is a great way to start putting this team back together again. One could say that keeping DeRozan and letting his contract run out in 2024 would be a complete waste of an asset, especially now that the team's chances of being competitive are so low. Low. The same could be done with Vuvi. Seven and a half to go here in the third. There's another high show by Allen as a Vucevic who will be a free agent this summer and could be signed by any team. His $22 million salary wouldn't be hard to find a buyer for, and the fact that he's been playing better this season could convince a competitive team to give up some assets in exchange. The Miami Heat could use some new players and to get rid of Duncan Robinson's contract. Shot clock at 10 as they chase Hero to the corner. Robinson from deep. That's good. The trade of Vuvi for Robinson and Nikola Jovi makes financial sense, and the Heat could add a lottery protected first round pick in 2028 to make up for the difference in value, since getting rid of Robinson's deal won't be cheap. If the pick hasn't been made by 2030, it turns into two second round picks in the following year. In general, the Bulls need to ask themselves if they think this team can not only turn their season around, but also get them to the playoffs next year, given how hard things are for them right now, and the fact that they don't know how Ball will be when or if he comes back, they have to realize that their chances aren't good. If not, it's time to deal with them. That's all the time we had for today. Till next time, cheers!